So now take a step over there. Okay, take another step. Take another step. Okay, take another step. Okay, now we want to wait. Yeah. Here. Okay, there you have, by the way, take get a shot so they can see. That's a smart meter. All right, so now come back over here. And, okay, take a step. Take a step. I can't see it. Okay, well, well, I'll tell you what it is oh, afterwards. Okay. It's just a little bit. I'll just hold that. No, actually, hold it. Okay. And, lock, take a step. Yeah. Uh -oh. So, that doesn't help it here. Okay. Now, it's an EP2 stress pendant. Oh, I should have worn that. Oh, that. I got mine. Give me a lock. Give me a lock. Always give me a consistent lock. Take a step. Take a step. I have it on too. I think I still. Oh, God. Oh, by the crystal structure of the salt lamp. I thought one was by it. No, they have a salt lamp. Okay. Salt lamp, like you can go in and get your salt lamp. In fact, that's what we'll do. Yeah, well, it is. Except our technology has been placed in here. So when you go and get your salt lamp, And then I'm going to show the Over meter. Here. Okay, wait a minute. I want to show the meter so they could see that near the meter. So, okay. Can All right. Lock. Take a step. Take a step. Take a step. Praise Take God. Step. Watch out for the end. You lock. There you go. So, because it's like a huge EP2. Right. This will this will do an area. This will do an area so all of us would be protected. Uh -huh. What we really want to do, if it's okay, what's on the other side of this? Garage? Can we go inside the garage now? All right. Let's go in the side of the garage and see where you go weak on the inside of the garage so people can see what that challenge is. All right? It's perfect. It off. Way. For now. Yes. All right. Here we are in the inside of the garage, and the same smart meter will report it outside. And give me a lock. Sorry, when we take a step over here. Lock. Okay. Little another step. Give me a lock. Okay, she's got it. Okay, now take one step. Another step. Okay, she has <laughs> nothing. Take another step. Wow. Yeah. Another step. So it actually appeared, I mean this this is much this is much more effect further away than on the outside, yes. which is the whole point. Yeah. So, you know, this is in the garage, but this is where it's affecting the body where it goes absolutely weak. Now, come on over here. Watch out. Okay. I'm going to show the EP2 stress pendant here. Take a step. And take a step. Take a step. Take a step. Okay, so you can see. Give me a lock. Still strong. So this is the EP2 stress pendant, which is the best protection on the market now. Continuing, I'll be right back. And I'm going to simply take an e-salt lamp. This is not a salt lamp. This is an e-salt lamp. This is, has the e-technology from eWater.com infused like the EP2 pendant. So picture this as like a, 
very large EP2 stress tendon. And I'm actually just going to try at this point setting it down on the floor. I haven't done this before on cement. Should be okay though, but normally I'd rather it be on a couple of boards or maybe on a shelf. Give it a block. Take a step. Take another step. Take another step. Take another step. Okay, now, can you tell that there's not much difference? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have shown that there is the effect, and if I may have your little green. Okay, give me. Aha. Uh -huh. So, what we're doing right here is we're going to go get the older technology, and this is still better than probably 95% of any of the technology on the market today, and some people are still using this old technology, which is now available to others, no longer ours. And, give me a lock. I don't have to go any further. Because we're all the way out here and she's still going weak. Yeah, so it's far away. I think what we've seen, and I had no idea because I hadn't done this before, what we've seen is that the smart meter is putting far more chaos into the home than is on the outside. This is scary. And can you imagine if the smart meter were outside the wall of your kitchen? Or outside of a bedroom? Or outside of your living room and that this is 24 7 anyone in this house is getting cooked now we're talking about where it's so so detrimental it's not subtle this is where she just goes down like a brick give me a lock and there's nothing there I mean, I take my little finger truly nothing there and I had heard about this I know in principle but now to see it to not protect yourselves you either all wear an EP2 which of course I recommend anyway you wear the EP2, or you put the e-salt lamp, if you'll bring that over here again, your, your garage will be infamous. Now, <laughs> you, you put the e-salt lamp on the inside wall, wherever that smart meter is, and you're going to have a good, solid 12 to 15 feet in all directions blocking that, and that should make the rest of the home safe. The... Uh, the technology that we have that is for erasing negative geopathics is not effective on these smart meters. Just plain and simple. So there are the two. The e-salt lamp from ewater.com, the EP2 stress pendant from ewater.com, or any of those who are uh, reselling it, including Trinisol. Absolute must today, because your neighbors obviously are cooking you with their smart meter, even if you say no. But there's the satellites, cell phone towers, billions of cell phone calls being made that are going through your body, roasting you every day. And uh, this is why people are having so much fatigue, exhaustion, not healing quickly, not holding adjustments from chiropractors, needing more and more drugs and artificial stimulation, whether it be coffee, guarana, or Red Bull, or those types of drinks, because their cells simply are shut down. We have got to protect ourselves, rebuild our energetic muscle, so to speak, give our body the kind of nourishment that God designed it to have, which is fermented, should be happening inside your body. However, it isn't anymore because everything's so toxic and worthless. Get fermented nourishment. Do not get vitamin formulas because vitamin formulas simply were never intended to go inside the body. I don't know where a CoQ10 tree is. Don't know where a B6 tree is, although B6 for women is the, one of the only isolates I recommend based on uh, Dr. Victor Frank's recommendations because it must be in its isolated form, which is from sludge or whatever, and it helps the body metabolize all the synthetic uh, xenoestrogens and hormones. And without it, they build up. But if you remove those uh, synthetic hormones that are now in the environment in such proliferation, then the, you will have fewer female uh, challenges in the reproductive system, in the breast. If you are having challenges, we have consistently seen that when the body gets rid of those synthetics, or actually what it is, is it when it can metabolize the synthetic hormones, those problems seem to disappear on their own without treatment which again is using the body's intelligence. So, been a pleasure, but I'm disappointed that it's as strong as it is. This is not a good thing for America or the world. Thank you, get back to
to work. Now, what we've done, if you'll see, is there is now just a standard salt lamp, not an e-salt lamp. This is a standard salt lamp. Fortunately, this home had a salt lamp in it. So we're going to test this uh, now. And Oops. give me a lock. Take a step forward. Lock. OK, take a step forward. Give me a lock. I think you can already see there's, go ahead, take another step. There's absolutely yeah. zero, another step right next to the salt lamp. There's zero protection. Very important to understand. A salt lamp has no protection against the radiation, EMFs, EMRs, and hopefully people aren't making that claim. That's not our claim. We're using the salt lamp as the crystal continuum that holds the e-technology that provides the protection. Okay? Let's go inside and turn that off. So, we're going to check... We're now in the upstairs bedroom. We're above where that smart meter is. And as far as very strong radiation not indicated here, take a step. Give me a lock. It's starting to take a step over here again. Give me a lock. Go ahead, take a step. Lock. Okay, take a step. Okay, so we do have a problem. Now, what we're going to do is we can we know we put a, the e-salt lamp in here, protection. Go with the EP2. When anyone in here, they're protected. And with all the electronics in here, I probably put an e-salt lamp in here. However, I'm going to go down, put this back in the garage, where we had it, only on a shelf, and then we're going to see if, if she's protected. Let's see. Okay. okay. The door's so open. So we're now... No, they're outside the lock. Watch the, the screen. Mm -hmm. We're now going back in here. We have the e-salt lamp uh, in the garage, downstairs, on a shelf, and take a step. Take a step. Well, this is very okay. It went a little, nope. little bit, but take nope. a step. Yeah. No, take a step. Okay, so she's now right over where that would be, and with salt lamp downstairs. So this to me is showing to me that the coverage is here. It is blocking the negative, and it's your body. Mm -hmm. And you know, I'm not faking anything. You don't know right. what I want or don't want. Just let it go. And so, wherever that smart meter is, put an e-salt lamp on the inside, right opposite, either on a shelf on the wall or on the floor. And if there's an upstairs, the ideal would be right about at the level where that smart meter is, so it's going up and all around. But without question, with all the electronic chaos, now they add the smart meter, it would be best for every person to have an EP2 stress pendant. 